It says, which of the following statements is not true about the arithmetic sequence? Um, so if you look at the sequence, and I'm going to write it down here, uh, we've got 17, 12, 7, 2. And it looks like they're just subtracting 5 for every term, right? So if that's what they're doing. So the next term would be negative 3, and the next term would be negative 8, and the next one would be negative 13. So it says the fifth term is negative 3. Now they're looking for what's not true, right? It says what's not true. Um, the fifth term is negative 3, so that's off the list. The sum of the first five terms is 35. Oh, boy. Got to add them up. So I've got uh, 17 <coughs> plus 12 plus 7 plus 2 minus 3. No, first five terms is 35. Now it says that the eighth term is 18. All right, so what have I written down? I've got, this is the first term, the second term, the third term, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. If I subtract five again, it's negative 18. No, that uh, C is correct. The common difference for the consecutive terms is negative 5. No, that's true. It says the common ratio. Oh, there it is. E, the common ratio. Now, what do they mean by that when they say common ratio? Common ratio means that we're multiplying it by a number to get the next term. Is there a number that I'm multiplying 17 by to get 12? No. So that is not true. Okay, there is no common ratio. There isn't a number that I can multiply one term by to get the next one. We're simply subtracting, which is uh, a difference. Does that make sense?